Do women actually like eating carbs more than men? We're about to delve into what the science says. Anecdotally, when you are around New York City, you go into a pastry shop, it's all women. You go into a steakhouse, it's all men. You go into a sneaker shop, it's all men. You go into a makeup shop, it's all women. These are just my observations. Don't cancel me. Oh, all right, guys. We got to talk about this because it was sparked by the fact that my girlfriend loves carbs. She announces it. She says she loves bread. She loves pasta. We got to check out the new dessert and bakeries around town, which are very nice, by the way. But... But it led me down this path where I was like, okay, let me Google. Does other people think this too? And guess what? A ton of people on the internet have asked this question before. So we're going to delve into the real science behind it and also some possible reasons why women like carbs more than men. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Check out Smile La Sauce on Amazon right now. It goes great on carbs, but also proteins. What's the reason number one? All right, guys, the reason number one, and this is a scientific reason, uh, is that eating carbs releases serotonin, dopamine, and beta endorphins, making you feel good, less depressed, less stressed for a short period of time. Let me play this clip from this doctor. All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about why you really love carbs, okay? It has to do with um, three body chemicals that are increased when you consume carbohydrates, uh, especially refined carbohydrates. Beta endorphins, which by the way, is about 33 uh, times stronger for pain relief than morphine. So it's great to reduce pain and emotional pain, okay? Uh, it will increase dopamine, which will give you all sorts of pleasure sensation. And serotonin, which is the anti-anxiety uh, hormone. Okay. Of course, there are two different types of carbs. There are simple carbs that are more refined. There's complex carbs like a sweet potato. Um, but yeah, basically, I would say that what he's referring to, the one that gives you the dope, more, even more of a dopamine releasing effect is the simple refined carbs that are bad for you. So to say that you feel good eating bread or you enjoy it is scientifically not wrong because it literally is releasing those chemicals, chemicals that feel really good in your body. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I, it's a chemical release, that's crazy. By the way, guys, girls also like meat, guys also like carbs, but we're talking about the extent that they physiologically may enjoy them more or less. Right, right, right. Uh, point number two, carbs, eating carbs, make you wanna eat more and more. So it's like, I don't wanna say it's addicting, okay? Because that's like a very strong word, but it does kind of make you wanna eat more and more. And this doctor explains it here. Take two different foods, equal number of calories, and you eat them. The hormonal response to those calories are completely different. So you eat two slices of white bread and jam. All that energy, so insulin spikes up because it's very high in refined carbohydrates. All that energy goes straight into your body fat and you've left none of it for, for, for energy for your day. By 10.30, now you're ravenous and you go get yourself a low-fat muffin. Again, pure carbs, insulin spikes up, all of that goes straight into your, your fat stores. Why? Because you told it to. Remember that when you eat white bread or muffins or refined carbohydrates, you're gonna have this insulin spike, which is going to tell your body to store energy. If you eat an egg, you don't get that spike in insulin. So you're talking about Cheddar Bay Biscuits at Red Lobster. I know nobody goes there anymore, but you're talking about Olive Garden Unlimited breadsticks or unlimited bread slices with olive oil at your favorite Italian restaurant, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. They just get you going. Let's think about it. So when you get the bread at the table as an entree, right, and you're eating it, that actually makes you feel good releases serotonin, and then also makes you want to eat more versus if the appetizer was like five boiled eggs, you might not eat the rest of the meal. Right, right, right. That's why most appetizers are carb-based. Yeah. yeah, like... Is that by design? Is that by accident? Does it just work out that way? I'm not speaking on the theories of the conspiracies of restaurants, but I will tell you this, carbs are delicious. And they're high margin as well. Right. Number three, Andrew, carbs are fun. They're fun to share. And it's seemingly, if you base it off social posts, they just create fun. Guys, fries at the bar? Who's not sharing that? Tortilla chip dip? Who's not sharing that? Pizza parties? Who's not eating that? Pasta catering? Pasta parties? Like, when your boss wants to buy the office lunch, he's going to get pizza. Pizza has tons of carbs. It's never yeah. egg-based. No, it's never like, hey, steak lunch for everybody. It's a pizza party because it's fun and it's cheap and it's tasty and pizza's amazing, and by the way. And everybody can get some, like, 
dude, if you just order a bowl of long fries, nobody is ever going to turn it down. Yo, do you see, look at the faces on your friends when somebody orders like the truffle garlic fries and the unlimited breadsticks. Just look at the, everybody's like, ooh. Even guys, guys were like, oh, hell yeah, let's get into it. So carbs are fun. All right, so my last point about why everybody loves carbs, by the way, it's not just women, but I, I think women love it more. But uh, carbs are often given as a gift out of love. What I mean is that, David, for a birthday, for a celebration, mm. how many people are gonna bring cookies, cupcakes, maybe a bread basket, a happy birthday cake? How many people are bringing meat? You give carbs as a gift because carbs are a comfort food. Right, right, right. Um, I would say maybe some more European cultures, they may bring some sort of preserved meat, like mm. a prosciutto or a cured meat. But by and large, people are, you're not gonna bring a raw steak because people gotta find room in their fridge to keep it. You don't know, it just, People don't do it. Guys, and yeah, carbs are a comfort food in every culture, including Asian culture. You got tongzes, uh, you have mochi, Topokis. you have topoki, you have uh, dim sum that also can be very carby, also very meaty, but mac and cheese, you oh, got yo, chicken and waffles. Yo, there's this Viet banana cake I just discovered that's not that popular in America. Pop up the Viet banana cake. Delicious, guys. All right, so those are scientific reasons on why everybody might enjoy eating carbs even guys, but here are the reasons or observations on why maybe, just maybe, and you let me know in the comments down below what you think about these reasons, why women tend to love carbs more than men, man. And uh, multiple people have asked this question on the internet, so I had to try to look into I, it. I also feel like women are more likely to show off their carbs, whereas like a guy, he a really, you know, masculine dude, he might like show off himself with a porterhouse or a a large snow crab that he just grabbed out of a bucket. Exactly. But you rarely do you see girls take those photos. They're more taking photos with the what, premium Italian sandwiches, the no ube matcha mm -hmm. pastry from baked by Cora, which is delicious, by the way. And that leads me to my first point, David. I think women are more likely to voice their love of food and carbs just more than men. Now, maybe... You guys make the argument that women are just more willing to voice their love for other things in general more than men. Like more maybe, loving. Yeah, yeah, they're just more loving, maybe. You know, that is, I would definitely like maybe agree with that, you know? So I think that it's like not, even if men and women eat the same amount of carbs or eat the same carbs, I think women will exclaim it more and like post about it more. That's in the typical modern day. That's for what I sure, think. For sure, for sure. I would say it's like posting uh, they hit on the... Uh, well, nobody really uses that app anymore, but the Nike sneakers drop app, you know? Yeah, I mean, trust me, guys. I, I follow a lot of foodie accounts, all right? They're always like, ooh, the cake, ooh, this cookie. Like, you know, it's enjoyable. Uh, another reason why women might like carbs is that actually, like during uh, that time of the month, they'll have menstrual cycle cravings, and women do crave food a little bit more at certain times of the month. Physiologically, they drop in serotonin. This is facts. I didn't make this up. Uh, and then, so then they're going to crave foods that might release more serotonin, like carbs. Yeah, interestingly enough, if a girl cuts carbs out of her diet or goes ketogenic or zero carb, it's possible not all may lose their period. So it goes to show you that physiologically, biologically, women need carbs more yes. than guys do. I, uh, keto diets are known to sometimes be different for men and women. Like right? a pregnant woman cannot be ketogenic. Yeah, she cannot uh, be in keto. Got it, got it. Uh, another reason why I think culturally, let's talk about the culture here, is that women are more known to be baking, doing the desserts, doing the sweet, fluffy stuff, maybe baking the breads. Men typically, historically, out gathering the food, hunting the meat, bringing it home, maybe grilling the meat. You know what I mean? Possibly the enacting violence on the meat. Oh, fighting the animal, 100%. Like, you know, so listen, I mean, just to paint a picture at a typical American barbecue, you got the father on the grill flipping the burgers and the juices and all the blood and all making the steaks. And then you got, yeah, you got the mom making, put together the dessert and getting all the buns ready. So guys, I mean, this is just culturally, in all cultures, by the way, I think there's actually similarities. I never saw a girl in front of the Shao Kao, like, Yang Rou Chuan cart in China. Yeah. I'm not saying I, it, it's impossible. I'm just saying I haven't seen one flip the Yang Rou Chuan. Side note, I do think women really love to travel, so obviously traveling to new bakeries is like, I don't know, traveling, I guess. It was like <laughs> checking out new 
Something else for other guys. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, so another reason why is that I think men do like carbs. Guys, I haven't met that many men who don't like carbs, but I do think men, when they decide to, they will ruthlessly cut carbs out of their diet. Like, I'll say this. If a guy's like trying to get ripped and he's like, dude, I got to cut carbs. I'm throwing these buns off this burger away. Give me the lettuce wrap. Give me the da, 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 da. Like they'll just ruthlessly cut carbs out like aggressively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen guys just barely eat any of the noodles in pho just right. to avoid the carb. Intake. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm not saying be a workout guy, and I'm not saying that's always the most fun life, but I'll tell you this. I, I know plenty of workout guys, and the way they cut is very aggressively. You know, I think also men, they pick their poison and pleasure in different ways, so I think men, maybe they save room for drinking, maybe <laughs> drinking beers. That's possible, uh, you know what I mean? Hey, man, Korean barbecue great for just getting protein intake, but you can't get the rice wraps and you can't eat the macaroni salad banchan. Right, right, right. There is a keto way to do Korean barbecue for sure. So uh, another reason, carbs come in all forms. They're easy to make, they're cheap, and they're available. We kind of mentioned this before. Listen, carbs could be the appetizer. They could be the entree like pasta, and it could be the dessert. And in that whole dinner, you ate a bunch of carbs and you feel really good and you love the experience, but maybe, uh, you know... That was a lot of calories. Well, well it's really, the thing about carbs is they're not bad for you, but it's just a particularly easy item to over, over intake. Yes. For caloric intakes. It's just like uh, drinking sugary drinks or sugary alcoholic drinks. One pina colada could have 700 calories in it, even though it tasted amazing. Right, guys, I'm, I'm not saying I'm on keto. I still eat carbs, but... I'm just saying carbs are easy to overeat because they kind of make you want to eat more and they don't satiate you on the same amount of, in terms of volume of eating protein. Exactly. And, uh, last reason is due to all the reasons that I've mentioned culturally, blah, 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 that maybe women like carbs more because a lot of the carby restaurants and especially the carby, you know, bakeries and dessert spots, they cater towards women. Like, let's just say what is typical typical of like what guys like like all these big slabs of meat i know a lot of women like meat too but like guys this is what like guys love the only woman i personally know that is a meat influencer is a russian girl and Ru hey guys listen i'm just saying russian women more known to be like feel comfortable leaning into masculine territory <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah and and i mean look at these big tomahawks these big porterhouses catching crabs like you said like all this red meat like these roast ducks that still are in duck form these kebabs these sausages like i think everybody enjoys these foods too but these aren't cute foods no i'm Have talking been about to a cute butcher or a hyper masculine pastry shop that's a good point butcher shops are not cute i've They're never seen anybody take a tomahawk and then like take olives as the eyes to make it like look like a, you know what I mean? Like even me going into a butcher shop when I see all the raw meat, it's not like I want to spend the whole day there either. You know what I'm saying? But look at all these beautiful, cute carbs that are catering towards just people who like cute things. I mean, you got this, the most famous and sold out bakery in New York City is Lisi, which is owned by a Korean girl. And she makes all these little fruit tarts into shapes of vegetables well, and, and they're actually magnificent looking and there's yeah. so many this is the major trend amongst asian american or asian bakeries right now is like a banana cake that looks exactly like an actual piece of banana fruit yes but you cut into it like it's a cake yeah i mean look at all these you got the petite show it looks like the the little uh, star wars animal you got these these cute little cream puffs that look like the bears you got and we, and we, hey, i'll tell you this andrew as food people we had both sides we have both sides. Oh, I've eaten all this. I've actually eaten most of these things, by the way, guys. And by the way, I'm not even going to lie to you right now. Finding all these pictures, it kind of did make me want to eat something. It made me want to eat some carbs, guys. But if I want to cut it out of my diet, I am going to aggressively cut it out of my diet. But anyways, guys, uh, yeah, I mean, David... Obviously, some of these reasons are scientific. Some of these reasons are observational. Some of them may be stereotypical on or some societal, level. Or societal, and sometimes I think the biological things, they lead to a more of a societal direction or like wind, wind of time narrative, you know? Exactly. I think that things may get stretched out on the ends, but essentially there are like... There's science behind these reasons why. Like, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, so a lot, it makes sense. A lot of it has to do with androgen, androgen receptors, testosterone, estrogen. Estrogen makes you enjoy these things. Testosterone makes you enjoy these things. 93% of all violent crimes, Andrew, are committed by men. What's the reason for it? Because they like 
to hunt other people. I don't know. That's a very morbid thought, but I get what you're saying. Exactly. Yeah, because they just have it's just a completely different physiology. Yeah, exactly. And you know, they're I guess they were the ones hunting, you know, and hunting the meat and hunting the boars and the and the mammoths and whatever. But like, you know, basically, guys, uh, shout out to all the girlfriends and, and, and sisters out there and the wives that got that love carbs, you know, like Carbs are fun. Carbs are nice to eat. They make you feel good. I'm never, no one's denying that. But I do think it's funny to think about the reasons and delve deep into the reasons on why women tend to proclaim their love of carbs a lot more often than men. Hey, man, let us know what you think in the comments section below. What are some other, I guess, like, things that you just notice in society and that there's science behind it? I think nowadays that the science is all out there, it's like, more okay than five or ten years ago to talk about this kind of stuff anyway guys let us know what you think in the comments section below what are some other things you notice when it comes to food consumption until next time we the hop hop boys we out peace, peace.